suggest to leaders for creating a warmer fellowship? What should we tell leaders? What should we tell pastors? Uh, what should we tell people organizing these, these uh, places, campus pastors, service pastors, um, staff, you know, evangelists? Number one, be approachable and real. This is how you show love and acceptance. Be approachable and real. If you want to train your guys back home, tell them this. Be approachable, be real. Don't be standoffish, don't be non-available, don't, don't turn your back. Uh, be approachable, real. Number two, learn names. Learn names. I know that's a challenge. But it just means a lot. And especially those of us who have long, long names, you know, 14 syllables, find, find a way, you know, find a way to learn the names and stuff like that. I'm saying this with, with tremendous burden because I don't do it. <coughs> I struggle. I really, I, I remember faces. I'm like, hey, brother, where are you? How are you doing? Can I ask <laughs> yeah, so I, I can't preach this with a clean heart, honestly. But it, it does help. You know, you know, you, you feel loved when somebody, especially when they come back the second time. When they come back the second time, okay. Number two, number three. Personally, greet people before and after service. Personally, or oh, the worst thing is to come. They sit, they get up and leave. Nobody talks to them. Nobody talks so to this them. Personal <laughs> greeting. Circle that. Circle that. Not just from the from the pulpit. Personal greeting. What did I say before? You want to be publicly acknowledged, but privately recognized. Okay. Generally, we want to be told guests this morning. Love. Ah, great to have you with us. We're doing coffee over there, or we'd love to stay back. We've got lunch for you, or for you, lunch is free. That's a lot of love in that one statement, you know. Uh, but personal, personal. So we need to have a certain bunch of people that are trained, equipped, ready to talk to the new people. What did I tell you? This is based on our strategy. If new people are going to come, then this is how things should be. This is how we need to be prepared. Give a look, a word, a touch. Learn those three words. A look, a word, a touch. Please be careful about the touch. But a look, a word, a touch. Number five, write informal letters or WhatsApp. Of course, you got to be careful and there's got to be ways that, you know, with females uh, messaging females, men messaging men, or the pastor sending a very generalized sort of a broadcast kind of thing. But just send. It was great to have you at church. Wonderful to have you. This is our number. If you need us for anything, we're available. Use humor with people. It always breaks down the barriers. Celebrate diversity among your members. Celebrate diversity among your members. Never create a majority. In our words and in the way, in our pictures and in our even euphemisms and examples, don't create a majority. By that I mean, oh, by all, most of us are North Indians here. Most of us, uh, most of us are not. Uh, immediately you have segregated everyone else who is not North Indian. And some North Indians who don't want to be North Indian. Okay? Immediately you've segregated. So there's just, just, you know, loved ones, believers, whatever. You just, friends, those kind, that kind of language is very, very important. Celebrate the diversity. It's great to have all of you here. We're, you know, we're represented from every place, every city, every color. Great, lovely, lovely to have you.